Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my wood shop. My name is Kevin. Glad you're here. Looks like we might see a little bit of sun in Wisconsin today, but I doubt it. All right, today I'm going to do something. I think it's just totally off the wall. Maybe even a little bit nutty. What I'm going to do today, well, first off, let me start by saying my stuff. Okay, there's my thing for color. I'm going to take this. All right, here I've got some multicolored glitter. Hopefully you guys can see that. And I'm going to add that to this cup right here. And a little bit more. Never have too much glitter. When you're doing your pin blanks, my buddy Ralph, he said, have you ever thought possibly about putting fish scales into some of your pores? My acrylic pin blank pores. And I said, thought never crossed my mind. He said, well, I just cleaned a bunch of fish in the scaler. I'm going to dry the scales. And I'm going to bring them to you once they're dry. Well, here they are. They're nice and dry. So I am going to do a pour. I made a new mold for doing my acrylics. This is five and a quarter by five and a quarter square. I the reason I did this new one is because I wanted some longer blanks, a new blank or new mold for my blanks, and we're going to be trying fish scales. So what we're going to start out with is a Luma Light Clear Slow, and I start off. I zero out my scale with my cup. I don't know if you guys can see that exactly. A little bit out of the film. But it's right here. And what I'm going to do. Let's see if I can back up just a little bit. And get that in there. Got my cup on my scale. Zeroed out. And I'm going to pour 9 ounces of part B. All right, 9.4 ounces, a little more than I wanted. And actually, I'm going to go 9.8. All right, I'm going 9.8 because my mold is actually bigger than the old one, so I need a little bit more in there. So now I'm going to zero out my scale again, and I'm going to go 9.6 of A. See, Illumilite Clear Slow A. There we go, 9.6. Get that out of the way. Don't knock stuff over. Now, the next thing you want to do is set a timer. Hey, Google, set my timer for 11 minutes. Sure, 11 minutes, starting now. And now, I'm going to stir this. It's cloudy at the moment, and I want to stir until it's clear. Scraping down the sides, making sure you get all the stuff from there. Get down to the bottom. Get all the stuff there, and then stir. You don't have to stir like a madman because they add more and more bubbles. We're trying to prevent it. It's starting to clear up, but it's still got a kind of a milky film look to it, right in the middle. So we keep stirring. How's it going in the movie? Just keep stirring, stirring, stirring. The exception of the bubbles, that looks pretty good. All right. Nice and clear with bubbles. Scrape off our spatula. And I just changed my mind on something that I'm going to do. I'm going to add another color. I was going to just go with a light purple, 
but now that I think about it, I'm going to add a little bit of gray as well. I've got two stir sticks, and I'm going to add just a touch, just a very, 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 very light touch of silver. I want the lightest of ever purples. Now, what I'm going to do is add from my original just a little bit of silver and just a little bit in purple. Stir this up really good. And got that stirred up nicely. Hopefully this silver is very light. Now, my purple is stirred, my silver is stirred, and I'm going to add my clear as a base. Now I've got my clear poured. I'm going to take my fish scales Hey Google, how much time is remaining? You've got 5 minutes and 19 seconds remaining Alright I've got my scales Then I'm going to gently add my silver I'm trying to kill some time right here by doing it this slow because I want it to start to warm up and thicken just a little bit. Still a little bit runnier than what I want. Alright, I'm going to stop right there for now and then I'm just going to slowly add the purple like I did with the silver. guys in here a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing. Hey Google, how much time is remaining? There's two minutes and 49 seconds left. Now, I'm going to take my temperature gauge and get a reading on how warm this is. Ninety one degrees. All right, now I'm going to gently ninety four degrees. Sit down. Google. Hey Google, how much time is remaining? Hey Google, how much time is left? 41 seconds remaining. Right. From here I forgot my gloves again. Seven degrees. stir this too much but I might 
might have to. Save my overpour, clean off my spatula, wipe my fingers, grab my fish scales, and I'm going to go over to the pressure pot. There you have it. Oops, what happened here? Hey, wait a minute. You guys are crooked. What's going on here? All right, everybody. My name's Kevin. If you like what I'm doing, give me a big thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. Watch my videos every Sunday or Monday. Sometimes I put out two. It depends on how the mood strikes me. And I love what I'm doing. I am having a blast doing this. This is cool. Pouring colors for pen blanks is just awesome. I like turning wood. I like turning pens. I like making bowls. You name it. I enjoy doing it all. I like doing a little bit of woodworking. But anyway, hey. Hope your day's going as fine as mine. Have a great Sunday, Sunday afternoon, and enjoy going back to work tomorrow. Okay, scratch the last piece of that. But I hope you have a good week, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. All right, everybody. We're going to go back into my shop real quick. And all I want to do... Take the pressure... Ah, boy, it's nice and cold on a hot day. Close my door. Mosquitoes are terrible. All right, hang on. All right. Got the pressure taken off the pot. Opening. I know that elbow gets in the way every time. Get those. first because I want to see what came out because if it's really bad then I don't have to show you guys but so far looks okay so let's go over and demold it and see what we got all right, I'm on my workbench. I got my new mold. All right. Ooh. And as I was afraid of, a lot of the scales sink to the bottom. Well, let's 
get this put back together and out of the way. All right. So right there, we have clear, <laughs> clear aluminite with a little bit of purple, a little bit of silver, and a whole lot of fish scales. Because it's soft, I won't be cutting it till tomorrow. You won't get to see it once it's cut. But hopefully, with any luck, I tell you what, there might be a sunbeam outside. Hang on. There it is in the sun. A little bit cloudy on the back. Um, don't know what caused that. Unless there was, the scales were a little bit wet, but I can't imagine how. So, anyway. I'll have pictures on Facebook tomorrow showing exactly how it came out. So, alright everybody, thanks for watching.